Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. And I'm here to launch the 2019 Global Startup Ecosystem Report, which is really our report, the report of a global startup revolution that's happening everywhere. And I'm really proud to launch it because now we're covering dozens of cities and countries all over the world that we need to pay more attention to because startup success is rising in all those places. And it's the results of work with the global community. More than 300 organizations all over the world have been working with us to make this possible, to be able to chronicle so many cities and understand their identity, what they're good at. We're working with the Global Entrepreneurship Network with Hello Tomorrow for the first time, launching the first startup ecosystem ranking for life sciences startup ecosystems. So, but in a way, you know, we're at a crossroad in tech. You know, is it for good? Is it for, for worse? Uh, I live in San Francisco. I've been here, I've been there since 1996. And we're drowning in millionaires. Well, the reason I moved to San Francisco 22 years ago is the artist, right? Is the, the, the culture of San Francisco that we're really driving out uh, because of all that success, right? And yet, when you look at the concentration of value across 100 cities, you can see how dramatic it is and how we need to work together to stop that, right? We need to spread the ability to succeed all over the world. When I look at this chart, it's amazing, and that's why, really, I started this movement, to be able to spread how do we build communities that support startup success everywhere? Startup success is not about one person, right? It's about a whole community. And I always like to say that, you know, if Zuckerberg had been born in Africa, he would have had, had a lot less than 50% of the chances of success than he had in San Francisco. That means that the success of Facebook is more than half of it is due to the community, right? probably 70% of it. We think it's about 70%, right? maybe even more. So we need to work together to, to flatten this curve. And that's what we're doing. So come work with us so that you know, startup success, stop depending on where you're from, your gender, your sexual orientation, your ethnicity, your social background. Right? We need to help everyone join and benefit from the new economy. So that's our work. Uh, and we're working now with more than 45 governments to help them accelerate action, design better policies and programs to help their startups succeed. It's complicated, but now we've been studying startup ecosystem for nine years to really define and understand and develop the science of how do you accelerate startup communities so they succeed more. And this is. The global ranking every year is kind of a, a becoming a big deal. Uh, we almost had a leak this 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 uh, week. Uh, someone was had a picture of this this very list and was threatening to launch it a couple of days before before we could. And uh, one of my friends said, "Welcome to the big leagues. There's leaks on your on your ranking." But really, a lot of good news for Europe. Amsterdam up four ranks. So congratulations, Amsterdam. We've been working with uh, Startup Amsterdam, Startup Delta, the Ministry of Economic Affairs, you know, Ruben, Bass, um, really great people. And it's really, it makes me happy to see them rise in the ranking. All the good work is pay, paying off. Stockholm, of course, that continues to, to do amazingly. Paris is going up. Uh, so really, really glad to see that happening. Yet, you know, as I said, concentration is very high. It's coming down, which makes me very happy. Right? The rise of deep tech, I think, and the rise also of uh, the third wave of the internet, where industry expertise matters, really is helping lower concentration. But it's still 68% of value is captured by the top 10 cities. It's down from 87% a few years ago. So we're going in the right direction. right? And so we're working right now to really help 
governments understand how do you build this, what's important, and what's missing, and how can you take action to really address your gaps. So that's the code that we've defined is around those success factors. And in the middle of it is really us, us talking to each other, right? This is the, not, the networks. We call it global connectedness, local connectedness. And this is the community, right? Communities are much more successful when they're connected. Here you see on the y-axis exit value, and on the right is global connections and global market reach. So we see that cities that are more connected, that go global faster, create more scale-ups, right? I think we all know that. But when you break it down, you realize that those startups that go global very early on at pre-seed, seed stage, right, see their revenues grow 2x faster than the other ones. But what's important to understand and what drives that, right? We know going global early is great, right? But what drives that was the most interesting finding we had a couple of years ago after we mapped the global startup community and the relationship between founders of startups, we realized that global market reach on the y-axis is extremely correlated to the connections between founders, right? People know me from you know, Eastern Europe and can call me in Silicon Valley, and I can call someone in London to know what's going on, to understand all of the innovation, and I can stay on top. And if I have global knowledge, I can create globally leading business models. And if I don't, I can't, right? I'm always late. So you can see the extreme correlation. And what makes me happy is also that you can see that there's small dots at the top right, right? I mean, small cities can really be connected. And that's the story of Stockholm, really. And this is the global map of that network of knowledge that is straight out of our quantification of how many people do you know in Silicon Valley that you can call right, and get help from? How many people do you know in London, in Tel Aviv, in Berlin, in Shanghai, in Singapore? And you can see Silicon Valley is the most connected, New York, London, the top places, and then we're less and less connected. And Basically, this drives being able to go global because going global is just not an action. It's an ability. If I create something new and interesting and I go global, I get traction. If I'm late, I don't, right? So tech is still concentrated, but let's change the game together. Let's work together to really build community. I think also locally is very important. Right? We, we, have, we see that the connections between people inside a city is also drive success. There's another chart that I, I took out, but I see that I have a couple more minutes. It is, shows that also the connections between startup founders and local community, their culture to help each other, uh, the index of local connectedness also drives startups to grow their revenues 2x faster. So it's exponential growth is due to local connectedness, local community, and global community. So really make it count, because this is where you're developing those connections, right? Go have drinks, connect with others, talk about what you're doing, listen to what they're doing, learn from them, teach them. This is how we make, we spread startup success by spreading knowledge of what we do. Right? So these events are extremely important. We see it with every event in the world as a big impact on startup success. So you're not just doing social connections, right? Social connections are part of your work as startup founders and as talent and investors and ecosystem builders. So take it away, make it count, and join our mission and read our report. Pay attention to those startups all over the world that are creating success. This is your report. This is the startup of our revolution. We can make a, a world a better, a better place by working together and driving innovation to solve big problems. Thank you.